Hello, this is a tutorial for Voltage Drop Calculator. It's an app for iOS. It's a universal app. Works uh, one purchase for both iPhone, iPod, and iPad. It is also included with Electrical Calc and Electrical Calc Pro, Electrical Calc USA, and Electrical Calc USA Pro. So if you already have one of those apps, you already have this app. Um, we will start the tutorial um, just by showing a multiple voltage drop calculation. What this app allows you to do is it allows you to do voltage drop calculations, but it also allows you to do a list of them. So you can save a, for example, a schedule of them, and then you can um, email them or, or bring them into a spreadsheet or print them right from the app. Uh, it'll allow you to do to calculate an entire job um, of voltage drops instead of just a single one and save them. Also included in the app is a calculator. It's actually a construction calculator. It works in uh, yards and feet and meters uh, as well as just standard uh, uh, base 10 unit. And it has um, saved memory locations, 10 saved memory locations you can also use. So that's a little bonus. So to start with, we will look at the, that's your top bar where your menu and your calculator are, and you also have a bottom fixed bar um, in the iPhone version and in the iPad version. This bottom bar is where you will manage your list of voltage drops. So a uh, little arrow here allows you to bring up your list. Right now we have a single voltage drop in our list. So for this example, let's do three. So we'll add two by pressing the plus button twice. Now you'll see our list has three of them. You can also use the minus button, of course, to delete one. And if you select one, you can rename it by typing a new name, obviously. So let's go VD1. <coughs> VD2. And VD3. <coughs> okay, so let's start with the first one. Um, this is just a graphical representation at the top here, so there's no buttons or anything here. It just shows uh, your source, your wire run, and your load, which are the three components that make up your voltage drop. So for our first drop, let's put a voltage in, let's say 120. Single, fit, oops, single phase load of 120 volts. Um, we'll select copper wire, 90 degree wire, in conduit, and let's say our load, um, I don't know, 10 amps. And in this case, we will start off for 3% voltage drop. So when you go down to the results section, you'll see that there's three sections here. Um, you'll have to provide information for two of them, and then the app will solve for the third, for the third uh, section, which will be the selected section. So in this case, wire size is selected, so we can't actually um, <clears throat> modify anything in there because it's uh, solved by the, by the app. So we'll go over this section, we'll go to a 3% drop, and we'll say we're running this uh, 50 feet. So the app is telling us that number 14, which is good for 25 amps, is capable of doing a 3% voltage drop for 50 feet. So that's our first uh, uh, saved calculation. And this is, this is all saved. So if we go back to one of our other voltage drops and then come back to VD1, you'll see that it's, it's all saved. Now, um, you'll see as we increase the feet, our wire size will go up. So if you want to go 150 feet to maintain your 3% drop, it would recommend uh, number 10 wire. So let's go to VD2 and solve for length. So in this case, let's go to 120 volt again, single phase, uh, copper, same conduit, 10 amps. This time, we will tell the app that we are going to run a number 10 wire. And we'll tell it that we want to stay within a 5% drop, say. So the app will tell us that we can run number 10 wire, a maximum, a maximum of 275 feet to maintain our 5% drop. And you'll see if you put your drop down, the footage will come down. You can also go to a manual percentage if you want, I don't know, 6.2 or something custom. And you can also type in <coughs> a voltage. 
these will always match. The app will always um, adjust the other one. So if we go up to a 10 volt drop, you'll see that the percentage automatically adjusts to 8.3. And so by putting in our voltage drop or wire size, we will get our maximum length of run, sometimes handy, okay? So now we'll go to VD3 and we'll solve for voltage drop. So say we know our run is Uh, oops, we'll solve for voltage drop. So say um, we know our run is 150 feet. And we, we know we're using number 12 wire. The app will tell us that at a 10 amp load, 120 volts, um, 150 foot run, number 12 wire, that our drop will be 4.3. So it'll give us our percentage and our voltage drop as well, based on those. And of course, as we go, all these are saved in their respective spots. So at this point after you've uh, done all your calculations you can just keep them saved in the app or if you go into your menu you can reset with caution. You'll get a warning that if you do hit a reset it will clear the entire app so do that with care. You can also email the results which will just be an email to a list of um, your, your voltage drop that you're looking at, just the, just the one that's active on the screen. Uh, email as CSV will email out as a spreadsheet format um, all your voltage drops. So like a, a, sh a schedule of your voltage drops in um, spreadsheet format. Print will of course print them out right from the app. <clears throat> and video tutorial is obviously what you're watching right now. So we hope you buy this app and we hope you enjoy it and we hope it saves you a ton of time and thanks for watching. Bye bye.